Next up, let's talk about how we add in new properties or update existing properties. So it's really similar to viewing a property or accessing the data. We have the dot notation or the square brackets. The only difference is we use an equal sign to assign a value, either to update that value or to give it an initial value. So for example, let's say I started out with an empty object called user reviews. We're building some sort of web app where users can leave reviews on something. And at the beginning, when we first push our code up, when we first launch the app, there are no reviews, so it's empty. And then we want to associate a username like queenb49 with a score of 4 out of 5, or let's just do 4, or 4.5 or something. And those will be coming in one at a time. So we don't have all of the reviews at the start when we make user reviews. So it will begin as empty. And we can add any of them in, any property, using the exact same syntax, either dot notation or square brackets. We'll go with queen b49 in square brackets. And then we'll set it equal to 4.0. And if we look at user reviews, it contains queen b49 as a key and 4 as a value. We could also use dot notation, user reviews, dot Mr. Smith. 78 equals 3.5 and again we take a look at user reviews and they are both in there so to add a property we don't have to do anything fancy we just access a property it doesn't exist it's set to undefined right if I do user reviews of Colt it doesn't find anything we get undefined so then we simply say okay we'll take that Colt key and give it the value of 5 I'm rating whatever we're rating, I'm giving it five out of five. Though for some reason I used a string there instead of a number, which we can update. So to update something, we do exactly the same thing. User reviews and then dot or square brackets. This time I'll do square brackets just to mix it up. And now I'll change it to the number five. And if we look at user reviews, we have all numbers now. We also have access to operations we've seen before like plus equals or the increment unary operator. So if I want to add two to queen b, I could do user reviews, square bracket, queen b, 49, and then plus equals two. We'll refresh, we look at user reviews, and we've now updated it to six. So we can do plus equals, we can do plus plus if you wanted to, user reviews, dot Mr. Smith, plus plus. Let's look at user reviews and now it's 4.5 instead of 3.5. So there's really just two syntaxes that we use over and over. The square brackets, the dot notation, whether we're accessing a property that's already there or we are accessing it and updating it like we're doing right here or we are setting it for the very first time like we do here. And that's it. That's all I want to talk about. So you can have an empty object. You don't have to have all of the properties defined when you create it. You can add them in after the fact using this syntax.